Ben, today's the day. Oh my gosh. It's the day of love. Abby, yes, what did ben? you get me? Um, oh boy. To celebrate this wonderful day. I got Not together. I'm I, I'm going to like bounce. I got real plans right after this, but Wow. Wow. I got you a lovely experience with a good friend. How does that sound, Ben? Uh, it's okay. Okay. Well, we are going to play some butterfly soup cuz you know how uh, most people celebrate love? How's that? With baseball. That's true. I'm really excited to play this. This Me was too. um I had no idea that this game even existed, but then a uh, friend of the site Pat Bear put it in his top 10 oh. list of our game of the year stuff and it looked really cool. Yes, I have heard very good murmurs about it for a long time. I am excited to finally play it. Um I was recommended to start it just from the beginning, so that's what we're going to do. Uh already I love the music and art style, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Daya, okay. Daya. The summer between third and fourth grade. Oh gosh, we're starting little. <laughs> Once upon a time. I mean, it's good to have your dream. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of knives. Uh, there lived a princess called Minseo. She liked weapons. Hell yeah, dude. I love you some knives. <laughs> Everyone was terrified of her. She'd threaten you with knives and steal or and break your things. Wow. She always got sent to the principal's office because she was bad. She's in the third grade, but she's dual wielding at I an know. eighth grade level. Look at these. I love the action lines. <laughs> Still, she was a lovely princess, and tragically, she was cursed to prick her finger on a spindle and die. Sure enough, one day, like a total idiot, she touched <laughs> one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Or at least, she was supposed to. Instead, the princess sat up abruptly and said, This is the worst story in history. Oh my gosh, should I find a character for this? Um, uh, yeah. Okay, first of all, loving the sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, that's rad. <laughs> uh, this is the worst story in history. I'm escaping. Wait. Man, that's not how it goes. I'm right here. The evil dragon. I killed you already? Ha! Ah, where's a what? A gun! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a gun! I made one out of rocks! <sighs> the hero has arrived. Minseo's twin. He's trying to reason with her. Wow, sweet Arthur shirt. I wonder if they have a license for that. Min, that's impossible. Who cares? If I have a gun, I win. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's difficult. Oh, wait, that's kind of your inner monologue, I guess. So, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, is, Daya, is Daya the protagonist? Huh? Or is Min the protagonist? Okay, well, we'll, sure. we'll figure it out. I'm guessing it's Daya, because Min's in the third grade. Okay, do, so do you want to do Daya? Oh, yes, good call. Um, it's difficult to argue against Min's brand of logic. Okay, you win. Let's just start over. Now this is you. You gotta do the voice I did, exactly. This time someone else be the princess, not me. Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the only girl left, so I guess that's me. Fine. Daya does seem more like the princess type anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You're, you're really pretty. And it's cute how your hair curls like that. It makes you look like a princess. Uh, I just meant that she's less violent. But whatever. Second try. Once upon a time. Cool. There lived a girl named Daya. She was really quiet. It wasn't that she had nothing to say. It was more like she was afraid if she opened her mouth, something would come out that shouldn't. She once held on to an apple core for 45 minutes because she didn't want people to see her walk across the classroom to the trash can. Oh. Honestly, been there, girlfriend. Been there. What do you do with the fucking apple core? You just throw it was it away. that kind of quiet. I don't know, Ben. Sometimes it's hard. It's uh, You don't want to inconvenience everyone. Anyway, she was also insanely athletic. There are rumors that under her shirt, she had a six-pack. 
Tragically, despite how buff she was, this princess was also uh, cursed to touch a spindle and die. One day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Nothing could break the spell but her true love's kiss. For many years, she... Dad, get up! I'm here to rescue you! Ha! <laughs> Only the hero can wake her. That's me! I'm the hero! Wait, no? It's supposed to be Junso. No, it's me! Huh? But if you're the hero, then what am I? A gun! <laughs> what? Gun? Question <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a nice touch. Min grabs Jun's arm and aims it at the dragon. Bang! You're dead. Nice try, but I deflected the bullet with my own bullet. I have a gun too. Why, you're a dragon. This is America. Everyone has a gun. Daya rises to her feet. That's a good point. I also have a gun. <laughs> Fun. Uh, <laughs> shoot the deflected bullet? It feels yeah, weird so to shoot can't. any of these children. Shoot the bullet? <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. I agree. <laughs> uh, deflected the deflected bullet with my own bullet. So Min's ori original bullet is going toward him again. That's <laughs> unnecessarily complicated. Why didn't you just shoot him directly? This is way cooler! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice try, but too bad! The bullet bounces off of me. How is that possible? My dragon scales are stronger than tank armor. Take that. Maybe we can resolve this without fighting then. Let's talk it over. <laughs> Violence solves everything! <laughs> I'm making a new gun with rocks! Are you replacing me? Yeah, sorry. Bang! Dragon's dead. Ah, uh, did you forget? I'm bulletproof. But my gun didn't shoot a bullet. My gun shot. A smaller oh my gun! God. Which shot a knife! Which exploded! This is some quality kid writing. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> as somebody who worked in education for a long time, this is pretty spot on. <laughs> what was the point of the smaller gun in the middle? It's there to shoot the knife! She raises a good point. <laughs> no, but... Uh, no, but why couldn't the original gun shoot the knife? Min gives Jun an incredulous look. Because it was shooting out of the smaller gun. Duh. Never mind. Okay, so let's say my elbow is injured now. So if you touch that, I lose. Rah! Min lunges at him. He sidesteps and darts up the steps to the slide. When Min catches up, he spins so his back is to the wall. She looks like she's having trouble. Do you need help? What? No. The evil dragon faints to the right. Min falls for it and he rushes past her, back the way he came. Uh. Min trips and face plants on the bridge. <laughs> Before Min can see, Daya quickly picks, up the evil uh, picks the evil dragon up and hurls him off the playground structure like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Wait, you're the princess. You can't just do that. Daya throws him off the playground structure, too. <laughs> <laughs> As he disappears over the edge, Min pulls herself back to her feet. Where is everyone? They. Balcony collapsed. Castle is under construction. Yeah! <laughs> I rescued you. My hero. Yeah, I'm your hero. Uh, Min is struggling to Princess carry Daya down the slide with her. Isn't she in third grade? How old is Daya? She looks much older. She's probably in the same oh, okay. age. Maybe this is like in the past. Yeah, it must be. It must be. Uh, Daya could destroy her in a single punch if she wanted to, but she's patiently going along with it. 
I owe you my life. How can I repay you? You can repay me with a thud. <laughs> my name is Daya. I don't really know what else to say about myself. I'm pretty boring. The other girl is Min Seo. Everyone calls her Min. She's so cool. Do you see that thing on her arm? She drew a giant dagger on it with Sharpie, <laughs> like a tattoo. It is pretty cool. And in class, she makes ninja stars out of binder paper and throws them at people. She stamps them with staples so they hurt more. <laughs> wow, honestly, whoa. What an awful child. <laughs> I know. But she never throws them at me. I think it's mainly because I'm the only other girl she knows who likes baseball. We both used to think that we were the only ones in the world, so we were both really excited to meet each other. I really like her. Watching the pros play baseball always makes me so jealous. It must be so fun being on a real team like that. The catcher's gone up to the mound for a conference with his pitcher. For secrecy's sake, they're talking with their gloves over their mouths. Someday that's gonna be us. Huh? Wait, what? But how? Your parents won't even let you join my team because you're a girl. Besides, when I grow up, I'll be a doctor or an engineer. Huh? How come? My parents said so. So? My parents said to pass my math <laughs> test and I failed. That's not something to be proud of. I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to handle disappointing my parents like that. It's like my worst fear. If your worst fear is disappointing your parents, that means your parents effed up. Wow. You should be able to do what you want without worrying about what they think. I think there's probably a happy medium there, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. That seems selfish. It's not selfish to choose your own destiny. I, it's kind of literally the definition of, of selfish. <laughs> right. Uh, right now, we're at the Oakland Coliseum with Min's what? dad and Jun. Do you live in I've Oakland? I've been there. Oh, wow. I live in Oakland. They got dollar hot dogs sometimes. Oh, hell yeah. I guess I should explain where Oakland is to people who don't live in California. Okay, cool. I'll have this one, Very Daya. glad that we have this. I hope it's 40 minutes of a real thing about the start of Oakland. Do you know where San Francisco I mean, do you, is? No. Do you know where San Francisco is? I don't know where it is. Where is it? Well, no, we're not Oakland. there. Oh, good. Thank God, because I don't know where it is. We're like 30 minutes from there. Hey, Daya. Hmm? I have something I need to tell you. Something important. I, uh, uh, never mind, forget it. <laughs> I said forget it. Don't worry about it. Aren't you having fun right now? Are, are you hungry or anything? They got dollar hot dogs. <laughs> Why are you changing the subject? And yes, I would love four hot dogs. <laughs> if you're trying to distract me, it's not going to work. But like I said, please give me a hot dog. <laughs> Let's go get popcorn and share. Ah! <laughs> popcorn is great. I like popcorn. Wow. Honestly, hell yeah, me too. Min is so nice so to relatable. me. Popcorn! <laughs> Just tell me when you're ready to go. The popcorn guy is a few rows behind us. Use the mouse to interact. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Look at... Wow. Uh, let's look at the empty seat. This is Jun Seo's seat. He went to the bathroom with dad. Okay. Look at woman. She's cradling something in her arms. Dog? <laughs> Daya quickly jogs over to take a look. To her severe disappointment, it's a baby. <laughs> Who cradles oh, a dog shit. in a baseball game? <laughs> um, look at the diamond? Or look, talk? Yeah. Let's look Let's at look. the diamond. Okay. I think Min is going for the loudest sound in history world record. Dude, I did that at all sporting events. I'm sure it was a fucking nightmare as a child. <laughs> what do you mean, safe? You need to get some goddamn laser eye surgery. I hope the person you like <laughs> likes someone else. <laughs> Give me a break. <coughs> you. Uh, I think I just woke up my neighbors. 
What? I choked on my own spit. I think I just woke up my neighbor. Oh. <laughs> she looks absolutely mortified, so Daya turns back to the diamond and pretends she didn't see anything. Okay. Min? Yeah? Uh, let's get popcorn, talk about school, talk about baseball, never mind. I mean, I say let's go uh, get popcorn. Yeah, let's go get popcorn. Yeah, so we're not going to have time to, to explore this game, I guess, as in-depth no. as one night. So not. So if you're yeah. interested, play it and learn all about the school. Get some popcorn. Well, let's go! Okay. Daya and Min got up. I saw the popcorn guy pass these people. Min is gawking excitedly at the baseball fans milling about. Look, there's so many <laughs> white people here. It's just like on TV. <laughs> oh, man. It really is. The neighborhood we live in is so Asian that I used to think that white people were really rare. Too bad all these people are in our way right now, though. We can't get through. I'm going to ask them to move. Excuse me. No one seems to hear her. Uh, that was the worst. I'm never speaking again. Time to become a mime. <laughs> Don't worry, Daya. I'll take care of it. Okay. Min grabs someone's baseball bat off the ground and starts hitting people with it. Oh my god. Hey, you dummies! Move or I'll kill you! <laughs> Startled, people are moving aside. And security uh, is on the way. <laughs> we can look. Let's look at strangers and move through. The strangers glance over in Daya's direction as she walks by. One whispers something to the other. They both burst out laughing. Are they laughing at me? I hope not. Wow. Okay, let's go. Min continues to forge a path, leaving a trail of destruction behind her. Oh my god. Move or I'll kill your entire family. <laughs> Even your dang fish won't survive. I'll throw all your fish out into the middle of the street so cars will run over them! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I know this looks bad, but Min really isn't a bad person. She always lets me be Luigi in Mario Kart. And whenever I land on her space in Monopoly, she says I don't need to pay her. Die! <laughs> We're almost there now. So, oh, look at dog! Yeah, look at, ah! Always look at dog. Yes, always look at dog. It's a dog, cute dog. It doesn't look very strong. Oh my I'm god. I'm gonna kill it in one hit. Whoa, don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna pet it. It's a service dog, don't pet it. Um, Don't, uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna yeah. ask. Well, a, chi a child doesn't know, you know? It's safe to yeah, assume you totally. can ask. Okay, all I have to do is ask, excuse me, can we pet your dog? I better practice a few times so I don't mess oh. up when I really say it. Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? This is good practice for you, Excuse Abby. Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Dude, I honestly had a video sketch series that I wanted to do where I just would go around and be like, hi, can I touch your dog? And then I, and then it would just be me petting a bunch of people's dogs. But every time I'd be like, hi, can I touch your dog? <laughs> All right, I got this. Oh no. Let us pet your dog or else. That works too. Go ahead, she won't bite. Oh, cool. I'll fight you. Wait, Min, he already agreed. Oh, alright. Pet dog. Daya pets the dog. The dog closes its eyes and smiles. <laughs> Daya is almost in tears. She's like a living rug. If you had a dog, what would you name it? Good question. Palm, Shibe, what do you think? I like Palm. Yeah, I do too. Palm. Palm! What the heck Rouge. kind of a name is that? Cool name. It's short for Pomeranian. That's way too simple. What would you name your dog, Min? Me? Mm. Knife. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I gave him knife. Uh, Min is thinking with an intense look on her face. Skull Crusher! Ah. Daya is silently laughing at her. Of course you choose a name like that. What? It's better than Palm. What's wrong with Palm? Okay, let's get some popcorn. Popcorn! Popcorn! 
<sighs> he looks busy. I give up. Time to walk away. Dude, it's po fucking popcorn. It's literally his job to give I you know. Popcorn. Hey, Grandpa, give us popcorn or else. <sighs> Min is so brave. Then you better pay Oh, my off. God. These are $10 a bucket. Is that how it is in Oakland? Uh, yeah, it's not too far. Oh, boy. Ten dollars? What a ripoff. Men hit the man in the groin oh, with their bat. On. Oh my god. Oh, geez. oh my jewels. <laughs> the man slings to the ground as if he's been shot. Min grabs a popcorn bucket out of his tray. Uh, what an awful child. I know. I like her, but I the got... more I talk to her, I'm like, oh boy, she needs I got it, let's go. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna steal this lady's purse too. <laughs> oh, it's my dad. Yuck. Min's dad is really mad at her for cutting her hair like that. He's speaking Korean on the phone. I wonder what he's talking about. Min only taught me one through four so far. Daya must have been frowning without knowing it because Min speaks up. Do you want to learn more? Huh? Sure. How do you say hi in Korean? Hi, easy. It's. I think, I think I kind of know this from Arrested Development. Yes. <laughs> uh, hmm, maybe. Hmm. Does she not know how to say it? Okay, Ben, it's can you this. read your line? <laughs> ben, Ben, read your line, please. Hi. <laughs> uh, Sarong A. Sarong A. <laughs> Sarong A. <laughs> Sarong A. Sarong A. Min is staring at Daya with really complicated expression on her face. What? Am I saying it right? Uh, yeah, sure. That was good. Cool. Now I can greet you and Jun Seo like this. No, wait. You can't say that to Jun. Huh? Why not? Because, uh, it's a special kind of hello. Oh, she tricked us. It's like how you say hi to your crush, or I bet. How you say hi to you what? You only say it to, like, it's how you say hi to your crush or something. Oh, sure. I bet it's probably just like, I love you or something. <laughs> yeah. You can only say it to certain people, like me. Oh. Is it one of those things where if you use it wrong, use the wrong one, it's really bad? Yeah, something like that. It's tough to explain. You wouldn't understand. I gotta go. Okay. See you later. Uh, but it's correct when I say it to you. Yeah. So only say it to me. Got it? Sorry. Got it. Wow. Korean is really complicated. What about you? How do you say hi? Um, teacher. Oh, boy. I like I like to fart. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. I like to fart. <laughs> what the? That's so long. I, uh... I like to fart. <laughs> I like to fart. Ah! What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Your pronunciation is great. Um, walk back to seats. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, every time I see this guy's shirt, I think it's a Dragon Ball Z shirt, but it's for fucking Arthur. I'm fucking glad, dude. Okay, keep going. There you. There you guys are. Where'd you guys go? The dog. Daya, that's really cryptic. Is it? Here, take this. Min gives Daya the popcorn bucket. Ah! Min, where'd you get that bat? Please don't tell me you did something bad. Yeah, it was fun. No, you have to stop stealing oh and threatening God. people. It's dangerous. What if someone came after you? I'd beat them. Even if it were a bear, I'd kill it with my bare hands. Man, that's impossible. I'll punch it real hard in the head like wham! Dead. It's not that easy. You'll just get mauled. Yeah, right. I'll dodge. I bet I can kill two different okay, bears men. at once. Okay, men. Min, no. It's useless. I don't think Min's brain even knows what fear is. 
It's like that bad guy in James Bond who had a bullet in his brain and couldn't feel peer, feel pain. He was was scared. Of, Geez, Jen, you really sounded <laughs> like Noelle sometimes. <laughs> Noelle is my best friend. She's the kid in class who goes, but wait, you forgot to collect our homework. Ugh. <laughs> I introduced Min to her a while back, but it was like hate at first sight. I think Min wants to kill her. Someday when Daya t decides she doesn't like Noelle anymore, I'll kill <laughs> her. I'll kill her to death. Oh boy. Don't do that. Even though Noelle is taller than you, someday I'll be the tallest. I won't lose to her. What does that have to do with anything? Also, if I was peeling an orange for you, I'd make sure to get all the white stingy stuff off of too. Now that's just that's just going too far. No, please. That's very nice. Yeah, get rid of that garbage. I bet Noelle wouldn't do that. What the heck kind of scenario is this? Why would you guys even be peeling oranges for me? Daya, <laughs> don't ask questions. Just appreciate the blessing. Yeah, just take the oranges. Yes. Just because. Forget it. Um... Let's eat popcorn, yes? Yeah. Eat popcorn. Daya, eat some popcorn. 10 of 10. Would eat again. Hell yeah. Uh, Want to talk to Min? Uh, I'm scared of Min, but... Should we yes. talk to Jun instead? I feel like we haven't heard much from Jun. Okay. Jun Seo. Offer him popcorn. Never mind. Offer him popcorn. Yeah. Daya holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks. Jun Seo took a single piece of popcorn... <laughs> You can take more than that. Really? You're so nice. <laughs> Jun Seo took another piece of popcorn. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, back to Min. Good talk, good talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to Min. Sure. Okay. Min. Yeah? Offer her popcorn. Talk about school, talk about baseball. What do you think? Offer her popcorn. Okay. Daya holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks. Min happily grabs a fistful of popcorn and stuffs yeah, it into her mouth. Yeah, right. Uh, want to talk about school? Yeah, sure. I hope we're in the same class this year. Uh, yeah. Actually, about that, uh... Hmm? Never mind. Everything is fine. Oh, no. They're moving. This is oh, really... Oh, yeah. Or she's, getting or she's getting held back or something. Oh, yeah. She's acting really weird again, like earlier. What is it? Do you not want to be in the same class with me? If you don't want to, just say it, Min. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's just that I won't be, uh, um, forget it. Is this related to what she couldn't tell me before? I bet Jun Seo will know what this is about. Um. Let's ask Jun Seo. Okay, never mind. Bye. Junseo. Something going on with Min. Like, did she do a felony? Are the police <laughs> after her? Uh, not that I know of. Why? She's been acting kind of weird all day. It's like she's hiding something. I can hear you. <laughs> really? I haven't noticed anything odd. Huh. I guess if even Junseo isn't concerned, everything is fine. Phew. I can just enjoy the game without worrying now. All right, never mind. Um, back to the game. Watch the game. Look at Diamond. Sure. The visiting team is pitching now. Huh? Whoa! Some kid behind us is talking to his dad. Um, excuse me. Those aren't the Oakland A's colors for the batter. This is a farce. Oh and boy. The catcher is wearing the green and yellow of, of, of the Oakland A's. <laughs> aren't the visitors up to bat? No. She just said the visitors pitching. I don't know baseball. Uh, uh, these children are morons. <laughs> They're fake Dad. ballers. <laughs> Dad, who's that? It's Tim Wakefield. He's a knuckleball pitcher. Is that an Oaklander? I don't know. I don't know any of the A's. Okay. <laughs> it's always fun watching these guys. Knuckleballers are pretty rare. That movement on that pitch nuts. Like a butterfly with hiccups. Wow, some people actually talk to their parents on purpose. <laughs> like, for fun. Can't even imagine it. Every time I talk to Same. my parents, it somehow turns into a lecture about something I did wrong. Wow. Um, that sucks. 
So I only talk to them now when I absolutely have to. How come they switch catchers too? Because catching a knuckleball is really unpleasant and difficult. Whoa. If you can do it reasonably well, no one does it really well. That one skill can keep you on the team. Is that real? Is that true? Kinda. Oh. A lot of knuckleball oh. pitchers end up having one catcher who specializes in catching that pitch just for them. They're called personal catchers. That's also a sex thing, son. <laughs> for instance, J.C. Martin always caught Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball. No, go back to the other thing. What about the knuckleball catchers? Wh what? And Doug Mariano, <laughs> Mirabelli always catches Tim Wakefield and his knuckleball for the Red Sox. The two of them even got traded together as a set. It's like a weird baseball marriage. Daya, I have a great idea. Let's get baseball married. <laughs> I should learn to throw a knuckleball and you can catch it for I me. I refuse to be a knuckleball catcher. Did you hear that dad said? Wait, but didn't they just say it's really hard to catch? So what? You're like a baseball goddess. You're overestimating me. I'm not that great. I just got lucky that one time. You've got... You've gotten lucky so many times I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, you don't understand. All of those were flukes. Every single one was a fluke. All of them were flukes. They just happened by chance. It's pure chance. I was not cursed by a witch to be very good at baseball. It's just chance. It's all a fluke. I don't have a special technique or anything like that. Your special technique is being you and friends with a witch. <laughs> You're the best, and the witch is really good too. <laughs> You're putting too much faith in me, but not too much faith in that witch. She's very powerful. <laughs> I'm not that good. When you see what I'm really like, you'll be like, that's it? I'll never think that. Even if I could catch it, you, are you really willing to be a pitcher? Why not? The pitcher is the coolest. <sighs> You're so brave. I hate pitching. Why? You get to stand on the mound and kick ass in front of everyone. That's exactly why. I don't want people watching every move I make, especially if I'm the only girl. If I mess up, it'll look like all girls suck at baseball. Then don't mess up. That's hard. It's a situation where you can't help but be scared. Anyway, I'll be there with you. If there's two of us, we both have to mess up to them for them to think that. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Mm, that's kind of comforting. I've always been alone out there. It'll be you and me against the world. Okay, let's do it. Uh, talk to Min? Sure. Min. Yeah? Um, you sure nothing's wrong? Or baseball? Uh, we already made sh uh, Let's talk about baseball. Okay. You know, I've been wondering for a while. If your parents won't let you play baseball, why don't you just play softball instead? Give me your hand. I'll show you. Hmm? Daya offers Min her hand. Min presses the palms together so their hands line up. Her fingertips end a whole inch below Daya's. Her hands are tiny. I guess that makes sense since her name is Min. Yeah. The rest of her is Minnie, too. Wow, rude. My hand is too small to grip a softball correctly. I can't even pitch them. They always slip out halfway through the windup. Hmm. Are softballs that much bigger than baseballs? Yeah. But that makes no sense. Shouldn't guys play softball and girls play baseball then? Since guys usually have bigger hands? It's backwards. Why is it designed like that? Beats me. Uh, you sure something, nothing's wrong? Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah, stop worrying. I don't think I'm getting anywhere questioning her like this. All right, never mind. Let's look at this lady. I was tricked! Oh, because of the baby thing. Um, what now? Talk to Jun, I guess? 
Sure. Shouldn't say oh. Never mind. Okay, let's look at baseball again. The batter hit the ball. It pops up foul. It's coming towards us. Daya catches the ball in the popcorn bucket. Whoa. I got so lucky. And that witch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, Daya, that was so cool. You're so cool. Daya fishes the ball out of the half-empty tub. I better give this to Junerman. My parents Why? think I went to study oh. at Noel's house. I'd be it'd be too suspicious to bring a baseball back. Min sits back down. Apparently, she had gotten up at some point to jump around and scream. She still <laughs> looks really odd. Is that how you scream? Yes. Thanks. Hmm? For what? Existing. Um. Let's eat popcorn. Eat popcorn! There's barely any left. Most of it exploded out when the ball landed in the tub. Uh, talk to Min. Maybe you can give her the ball. Yeah. Min. Yeah. Give her the baseball. Daya holds the ball, baseball out to Min. Can I really have it? I'll treasure it forever. If anyone else touches it, I'll kill them. Wow. That's way too extreme. It's a big deal, though. Now we'll always have something to remember you by. Hmm? They are moving! Oh, no. What do you mean, remember me by? That makes it sound like I'm going to die or something. Junseo looks alarmed by Daya's response. Did, did Min not tell you? <laughs> tell me what? what? Shut the hell your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> what? What the heck? It's nothing. Fuck the shut up. <laughs> Fuck the shut up. Min gets up and runs for it. <laughs> she just runs. <laughs> Min. I've got to you go can't after her. Uh -huh. Min, you can't literally run away from your problems. <laughs> uh, Daya chases Min up the steps and down the concourse as they uh, they arrived through. Min! Daya grabs the back of Min's hoodie. Min loses her balance and face plants onto the carpet. Are you okay? We're moving away. Ah, where? To Florida. Tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow? So sudden. It wasn't sudden. I've known for a long time. I've tried everything to stop it. I even threatened Dad with a knife. Oh my knife. god. I can't believe it failed. Violence is always the answer. <laughs> hmm. Florida. That's all the way across the country. There's nothing there except all people. No alligators live. No alligators live there too. I saw an animal planet. So this is it. This is it. Sorry. But that's not fair. We can't even send letters because my parents hate you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. Uh, yeah, she <laughs> keeps talking about knives. I won't see you the rest of my life. I do want this hoodie though. Hey, just because I'm moving doesn't mean we'll never meet again. If you want, if I want to see you and you want to see me, eventually it'll end up happening again, right? How do you know? I just know. That's not a reason. Then, because. Suddenly, Min seizes Daya's arm. She looks like she's had an epiphany. If you say our names together, it sounds like diamonds. What? Like diamond. 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 See? It's even more like it if you say your name wrong. Like Daya instead of Dia. Okay, so her name is Dia. Good to know. I'm not saying my name wrong just to make it sound like diamond. But it's more equal like that. My name got cut in half to make it work, so I had to sacrifice something too. I already call you Min. No one says Daya. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, one. Like not nobody says no that. No one. No one would ever say that. The substitute teacher does. 
The substitute teacher sucks. How did you even think of this? I was checking if our names sound like anything good together, like baseball. <laughs> what? How could it possibly sound like baseball? Our parents would have named us, have to name us base and ball. I know, I know. But still, it's pretty cool that we match at all, right? And it's even baseball related. The universe is saying we're meant to be together. Whoa, I guess she's right. We'll meet again, no matter what. I bet you a hundred dollars. Wait, but how are you gonna give me a hundred dollars if you lose? Huh? I, I just will. No, but if you're able to meet me, that means you won the bet. What? Technically, I guess? There's nothing technical about it. You just straight up wouldn't pay me. My brain hurts. <laughs> There's a long silence. She still doesn't get it. Never mind. It's okay. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? The point is, this isn't the end. I won't give up if you don't give up. Okay? Okay. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if I if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. Okay. Five years later. All right, here we go. Ninth grade, freshman year. Oh no. Uh, why is she sitting at her desk? I have to get ready for school. Dia hits her alarm her and flops face first into bed, huh? She could probably fell asleep on her computer. Wow, that's bad. Dia's morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes thinking about how tired she is. Do it. <laughs> I only got two hours of sleep. No, I don't want to get up. <laughs> 10 minutes pass like this. Once the allotted time is up, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. After stretching for a few minutes, she starts getting ready for school. Hmm? My classmate, um, uh, Akarsha? Akarsha, right? Sure. sure. Messaged me. Check my computer. Hey, oh, I guess it's you. I. Do I click? I, Dia. Dia. I. I. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, good. Very good. <laughs> Dia. Dia. Dia, you like Pringles, right? Dia, oh. you like Pringles, right? Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. Agreed, Ben? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why? Question mark? Go outside. Hey, <laughs> XD. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm? Dia goes outside. There's a single potato. <laughs> <laughs> I a, was joking. <laughs> there's a lone Pringle sitting on the ground. I hope it's like a breadcrumbs thing and we eat them all the way. Mm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sup, homie? This is a uh, Akashara. Uh, no, Akarsha. 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 She's the kind of person who doesn't give pencils back. Oh, oh I hate me. those people. It's me. It's me. People 100%. would always ask me to borrow a pencil and I, I would never, never get pencils. them back. And never it's like, those are them. fucking free, brah. I had to pay for them. And by me, I mean my parents. You know when you become friends with someone just because you have to see them so much? Yeah. Oh, tell me about that's it. That's us. Anyways, Abby, how was your weekend? Uh, good. Anyway, <laughs> glad we're uh -huh. working together. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my parents are always saying I should be more outgoing like her. Like, that's something I can just change. Hey, Dia. Hey, Dia. You know what's the best weed? <laughs> <laughs> it's when I'm weed you. What? I'm weed you. What? Like with. Like with. That, no, that's a stretch <laughs> if I've ever heard one. Dia briskly begins she's, walking she's away. She's in ninth her. grade. Give her a break. <laughs> oh, you're no fun. 
I'm still trying to work on this voice. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing a new technique where I just like kind of just do 10 different ones mm -hmm. and see what sticks. Yeah, it's a new character. Have it. <coughs> ha ha ha. Have it your. Have it your. Hub. Hub. Have it your way, Burger King, baby. Nailed it. Nailed ah, it. This is her voice now. Akarsha is half jogging to keep up with Dia. Hey, Dia. Do you know that your eye has something called immune privilege? That's bas this basically means that the outside of your eye prevents your immune system from knowing about the inside of your eye. What? If it didn't, your immune system would destroy your eyes. That doesn't sound right. I don't believe you. Why not? Because you lie to me all the time. <laughs> Noel said not to trust you no matter what. What? What? When? When we first met you this year, after you accused her of being a robot with artificially implanted human emotions. Hey, she got annoyed when I pressed a magnet to her head. <laughs> that means she's a replicant and it was messing with her circuits. Wow. Checkmate. No, she was annoyed because you pressed a magnet to her head. Oh, come on. I was just trying to make a good first impression. What's a girl to do? Not that. Poor me. No one feels sorry for you. There's a bunch of adults dressed in yellow at the intersection waving signs. What is that? They're trying to take away gay marriage. Gay marriage is allowed? Dude, it's been legal for a few years now. Yeah, what rock did I climb under? Okay. Oh, oh. wasn't paying attention. I was too busy dealing with baseball and that witch. <laughs> yeah, that witch and my friend who was trying to kill everyone. Mm hmm Predict me, yes, I'm prepping. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> okay. Marriage equals one man and one woman. Boo! What? A smiling woman it's with... A baby strapped to her back brandishes her sign as Dia and um, Akarsha walk past. What were you saying, Ben? I, nothing. You're going to dunk on that annoying man? It says, I love my gay brother. Still yes on eight. What kind of cognitive dissonance? Hey, Dia? Would you... Oh boy. Would you eat a tiny two inch person alive for a hundred million dollars? Legalize more! <laughs> um, I would eat Personally, him. I would eat them. I mean. If they're two inches tall, what kind of life are they going to lead to? Two anyway, inches is pretty you know? big. It depends on if they're struggling, I think. Uh, we'll say I wouldn't. No. He'd probably taste horrible. That's why, not because he has is like sentient. Anyway, people have so many bones, it'd be like eating a fish. That's the only reason you wouldn't do it? Are you saying you'd eat him if he was like a Cheeto? What do you mean? Like a talking Cheeto with human intelligence? No, like he's still a human dude, but he somehow has the taste and texture of a Cheeto. What the heck? This is getting pretty abstract. <laughs> um, wouldn't, would, wouldn't. I feel like that makes it worse for me because then it's like you're ruining Cheetos. <laughs> I, I still would, but- You would? I, I would, but I feel like Dia wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. Dia shakes her head. Wow. Now I know you're <laughs> a true homie. <laughs> Great. Why are we even talking about this? We made it to school. I should go to my locker first before going to class. Suddenly, um, Akarsha... I don't know why I struggle with this name so much. I want to... Uh, uh, Akarsha takes off running. Hmm? Where are you going? Huh? It's pee pee time. Oh god. Can you not say things like that? Like pee pee time? Akarsha I'm left. To say pee pee time. Stop, Akarsha. Look, when it's pee pee time, it's pee pee time. Uh, she never takes a day off from being weird. Go to class. Use locker. Use locker. Dia opens her locker. This is technically both me and Noelle's locker. The school doesn't have enough lockers for everyone, so freshmen share. And they're tiny. I'm always surprised when high schoolers in movies have lockers big enough to fit people inside. Um, Let's get stuff. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. 
Dia hefts her books and binders into her backpack. All right, I can go to class now. Should we look at the the rosin? Sure. Just because I want to know what it is. I'm pretty sure they use it on uh, violin, violin yeah, strings, okay. like bows. I My, thought it was food. Oh, no. My sister and dad used to play the violin, so. Oh. The first time Noelle showed it to me, I tried to eat it. Ew, rosin does... I guess it almost See, looks edible. I, we're on the we're on the same we're on the same page there. Let's close the door. We won't fuck with her lunch. Sound good? Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, go to class. Uh <coughs> Daya, Daya, help me. Hmm? It's Noel. What is it? I can't open this water bottle. Wow, I'm glad to have your classic lady voice in this one too. I, I tried to do it a little less shrill and just a little <laughs> a little softer, you know? I'm mm -hmm. trying to evolve the character. Wow. Uh, Noelle basically has noodles for arms. Open the water bottle. Dia takes the bottle out of Noelle's hands and twists the plastic sealed cap open. Thank you. How are you so weak? It's scary. It's the manufacturer's fault for not making these seals so strong. What if you get lost in a desert and find a bottle of water? You'd die because you couldn't open it. No, I won't. You can open it for me. That's assuming I'm there in the desert with you. I should start charging you a service fee. 25 cents. You wouldn't do that. I'd make one twenty-five per week. Can buy cup noodles from the student store. Noelle sneezes violently. Hot you! Don't get too close to me. I probably have Ew. the flu. Ew. Huh? Did you catch what I had last week? Probably. <laughs> Sorry. I am your catcher. <laughs> this happens a lot because we spend so much time together, and I eat her food. It doesn't help that our immune systems are perpetually weakened from sleep deprivation either. At least you don't have to worry about me being contagious. Are you okay, though? Shouldn't you go home? And what, miss school? I guess that's out of the question. Even when Noelle had the stomach flu in middle school, her parents made her come just for the math and science classes. Ew, that's bad. She was like barely conscious. I had to carry her around because she couldn't get up from her desk. Dude, that's so negligent and dangerous. And also like, you're yeah. going to infect every other student. Oh, that makes me mad. Yeah. And okay. it's not like you're going to process the, the information that no. you learned anyway. No, you're just going to be sick for longer. And then you're going to get everybody else sick. Uh, I think she ended up infecting half the school. Yeah, because you don't come to school when you're sick. Where's Akarsha? She... Oh, boy. It's pee, -pee time. <laughs> I am not saying that. Mmm... Uh, okay, never mind. Why do you ask? I secretly sued a li sewed a library <laughs> book security tag into the inside of Akarsha's backpack. <laughs> so from now on, every time she leaves the library, she'll set off the alarm and have her backpack searched. That's... wow. Well, whatever. We have plenty of chances to see. Let's go. A huge mob of kids is packed outside the classroom. They're all looking at a grid of test scores posted on the wall. It's complete chaos. People are pushing and angling their way to the list with the fervor of believers trying to touch Justin's hand. If I, if I get a B, my parents are throwing me away my GameCube. Yikes, that's gotta be an empty threat, right? How are you gonna play Melee? <laughs> I wish they already threw away my cell phone. I'm scared to see what I got on this. I think I failed. Asian failed or actually failed? Asian failed. Come on, I'm not that dumb. Uh, look at scores. This is a list of the top 10 scores across all periods. What American schools do this? Like, I know this I know. is a thing in Japan, but I've never heard of this. In... I, yeah, me either. It's, yeah, of like public scores. It's, yeah, yeah never. Noel aced it. Classic. Classic. She, she used to call me on the phone crying every Christmas because her parents got her math workbooks instead of what she really wanted. Oh. That sucks. By now, she's unbeatable. It's like her tragic superhero or origin story. Except instead of a superhero, she's every Asian parent's dream child. No clue how Akarsha managed to get the second highest score, though. 
general consensus is that she's cheating. But the teachers have never been able to catch her doing anything. She knew that thing about the eyes. She might not be that dumb, even though she says pee pee. So I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Daya, I've located your ID number here. You got a 91.22. Okay. Phew. Almost failed. Actually, you could have missed one more and Skrill scraped an A minus. Considering how many I guessed on, that's still cutting it pretty close. That's scary. I really should have studied as hard as I could, but even my best almost wasn't good enough. I wonder if I can really get into Stanford or Berkeley like this. Um, wanna just go in? Enter. Yeah. As Dia and Noel enter the classroom, something bursts out of the cabinet. <laughs> oh! ah! Noel staggers backwards onto an X marked on the floor with duct tape. A garbage can drops from the ceiling. <laughs> no! Ha <laughs> ha! Noel and Akarsha go through some various, some what? variation of this every single day. <laughs> also, she's definitely dabbing in the background there. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh yeah, she's like dabbing, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's their roundabout way of being friends. That's pretty good. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Frenchman, Noel. Please stop calling me that. Why are you speaking English, Noel? What kind of Frenchman are you? Just because my name is French doesn't mean I'm French. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Bugger. See, this is the problem. Whenever Noelle hears something stupid, she can't just let it slide. She always has to correct it. So a car should just like keep acting dumber and dumber on purpose into infinity. Noelle does an impressive worm-like dance to wriggle out of the garbage bin. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. What happened to our truce? Truce? From yesterday, you agreed to this. Noelle puts a sheet of binder paper from her book bag and brandishes it in front of Akarsha's face. Look, this is your own signature at the bottom. Uh, suddenly I can't read. <laughs> Arr, Akarsha! Noelle's scream sounds very weird and hoarse from her cold. What's wrong with your voice today? That was a weaker yell than normal. I'm ill. I'm losing my voice. That's why it keeps changing so much. <laughs> How about I punch you in the throat? It'll displace the mucus. Wow, good plan. No, it won't. Akarsha's a doctor. Let her do it. How do you know? Anything is possible. Trust me. I'm here, so buddy, Urukara. <laughs> you are the absolute last person I would trust. You're a worthless scammer. Leave all your problems to me. I'll solve them in a heartbeat. That's unrealistic, and accelerating that fast would destroy you even past your bone structure. Why are you being so mean? I'm just trying to help you. Hitting me isn't helping me! Wow, someone has anger management problems. You gotta slow down and smell the flowers. Appreciate life's miracles. Like me, I'm life's greatest miracle. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I feel nauseated just looking at you. I just don't understand. Why is there so much hate in the world? If only we could open our hearts to love, there would be no wars. Peace begins with a smile, Mother Teresa. Noelle is struggling not to break character by laughing. The bell rings. This concludes Noelle's and Akarsha's daily morning scream fest. The rest of the morning is relatively uneventful. Guess what? What? No, no, you gotta guess. You were arrested. What? No. You have a year left to live. What the? Dude, why do you always gotta jump to the worst possible conclusion? 
It guarantees that I'm either right or surpre pleasantly surprised. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Whatever, I'll just tell you. Right. Did you guys hear about the new girl who transferred here? Oh boy, is it my old friend? <gasps> Apparently she's like a delinquent. I heard she knifed someone. <laughs> she must not be very intelligent. Isn't that exciting? We never get that type around here. That's true. Everyone here is kind of forced to become a nerd by default. <clears throat> I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> what for? Do you want to get stabbed too? Sure, why not? Saves me the trouble of doing it myself. Noelle rolls her eyes and goes back to organizing her fried rice. She's picking all the sausage bits out so Dia can eat her leftovers. Dude, sausage is so good. Why would you not eat that? Don't do that. I like being alive the same time as you. That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> really? Then I take it back. Wow. Noelle slides her thermos across the table at Dia. Fried rice! Hey, Dia. How many second graders do you think you could beat up if they came at you of waves of ten with a fifth grader boss coming oh every God. five waves? This girl is like the internet personified. Five. Um... I would say 15. Maybe like 15? Yeah. Maybe like 15. What? You're underestimating yourself, ma'am. I'm not invincible. This isn't a kung fu movie. But they're little. So easy to mess them up. You could just tell them they laugh weird <laughs> and they'll be self-conscious about it for the rest of their lives. Noelle looks a bit left out by this conversation. Why just Dia? How come you're not asking me? Because I already know the answer for you. Zero. It's true. You're a weakling. How rude. Noelle, let's arm wrestle. I want to show Akarsha. She hasn't seen this. I don't want to. Okay, I am legitimately so bad at arm wrestling. I don't think I've ever won arm wrestling ever. I always lose. Well, you should wrestle her. Okay, you're right. I'll let you use both hands this time. Noelle makes a face. Reluctantly, she claps both her hands on Daya's, so it's sandwiched between hers. Three, two, one. Noelle uh, strains against Dia's grip with all her might. Oh boy. <laughs> Dia's arm still hasn't budged an inch. With her free hand, Dia casually continues to eat fried rice. <laughs> Karsha, what do you think of the weather today? Stop toying with me. If I did that, I'd break your wrist. You know what I mean. Dia pins Noelle's arm to the table as gently as possible. Dang, this is some... This is like some Fox and the Hound shit. I used to love Fox and the Hound, but I don't really get that. It was one week? I don't, I don't know anything about Fox and the Hound. Oh, it's such a sad movie. It's this Disney movie. It's so sad. Uh, I love well, it, not but it makes me cry it. a lot every single time. It's very sad. Okay, go on. Normally, the scrawny nerds herd together so jocks like Dia don't stuff them into trash cans. How do you two ever even end up at friends? <laughs> don't remember. You don't remember? You were always just there by default. That is not what happened. You had one bad ear, so you had a lot of trouble making sense about what anyone was saying. You just play wall ball against yourself or run laps around the track. That sounds about right. One day, oh, someone brought yeah. in Krispy Kreme donuts for their birthday. I didn't what? like donuts, so I... You don't like donuts? Yeah. I don't like donuts. What? I don't like donuts. They're disgusting. Oh my god, Noelle sucks. Disagree. Her taste buds are broken. Anyway, I gave mine to you in exchange I received your undying and completely unwanted loyalty. You followed me around everywhere. You were a major inconvenience. I don't remember any of this. How do you not remember? You were so extreme. Wherever the teachers tried to separate us, you'd start crying. 
I seriously don't remember any of this. It's probably because your birthday's in November. You were almost a full year younger than me. A year is a big gap when you're five. It's true. I pro I was probably like a toddler. Sorry. I forgive you. That's hella kawaii. Never use that phrase ever again. What phrase? Do you know that phrase? Whoa. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, she's talking to me? No, go away. Dia looks wildly around for Noelle or Akarsha to help her, but they've both already gone ahead to the classroom. I I remember you. You were... Hmm? What is she saying? I've never met her in my life. New clubs are... Uh, interest... Uh. Mm, crap, I can't really make out the words. I'll just nod in appropriate, at appropriate times. <laughs> We're collecting signatures to, uh, approved. The stranger hands Dia a clipboard with a signature sheet on it. Uh, what is this? Don't sign it. She might be one of those Read crazy it. marriage people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, true. Don't sign. Don't sign. Bye. <laughs> Dia walks away in the middle of the conversation. She quickly enters the classroom before the girl can stop her. Okay, maybe that was like a little rude, but fine. <laughs> Inside, Akarsha and Noelle are playing cards. Time to review their hand in three, two, one. Noelle and Akarsha flip their cards over. Why is there a Yu-Gi-Oh card? <laughs> Akarsha taps it with her index finger. This is Exodia, the forbidden one. Think outside the box, Taco Bell. You can't do this. Akarsha reaches across the desk and takes one of Noelle's cards. What are you doing? You said you were going to play this normally. There's no rule in Yu-Gi-Oh saying you can't what? eat the enemy's cards. We're playing poker. There's new rule in poker saying you can't eat the enemy's cards. Class starts. This concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily afternoon struggle. All right, just one more period before the day's over. Looking flushed, Noelle wipes sweat off her brow. Why is it so hot? Because I, because I'm here. You shut up. <gasps> my heart is exploding. My lungs are without air. My blood is boiling. My body is shaking and my tears are running down my face. Hmm? Noelle is unsteadily grasping the side of a bench for support. What are you doing? I feel extremely dizzy all of a sudden. Because you're sick. As a precaution, I will remain stationary until the symptom. Dia grabs her as she collapses. Her entire body is burning up. She must have a fever. Dude, that's so scary. That can like kill you, dude. We'll take you to the nurse's office, dude. No! Don't you dare. I need to go to next period. Attendance is 20% of my grade in gym class. Missing one day can't hurt. Gym is like a freebie anyway. No, you don't understand. It's my worst subject. I can't afford to lose any more points when my mile oh my time God. is 18 minutes every week. Hey, look. <laughs> you know, not all of us are good at running. This is true. This is true. I was, Though I've walked I've walked a mile in 16 minutes. I know so like the 18 minutes up. like walk you can walk one faster, I think. So that's yeah. that's why I was gasped. But that said, everyone's at different levels, whatever. What? <laughs> so slow. What the? Don't make that face at me. I'm not you, Dia. Noel launches into a sneeze. Achoo. 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 Jim's not even math or science. Is it that big of a deal? It'll still ruin her GPA and valedictorian status. Her parents will yell at her and be really mean. 
I'm pretty sure when you go to the nurse's office, you get like. I know. You don't get penalized from your class. Yeah, your class. it's like you get. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do we do? If she gets a B because we took her to the nurse, nurse's office, it'll destroy her. But she's in no condition to be working out either. She can't even stand without me holding her up. Let's use our heads. There's got to be a way out of this. Like what? Like... If a meteor hits Earth right now, no one will mind if Noelle skips gym class. Brilliant. If the world ends, we'll be saved. Even canceling school would be easier. Hold that thought. Dude, honestly, just bring it to the gym teacher. The gym teacher will be like, oh, you're sick. Go home. If school is canceled, if school is canceled right now, snow day, but there's no snow, then how? As long as we make it so that no one goes to class, we win. Hmm. Karsha is clearly going down some weird line of reasoning. Dude, I've got it. Homie G. You stay with Noelle while I, uh, do some stuff. <laughs> what stuff? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Before I tell you, you gotta promise not to get mad. What? Well, promise? Um. Promise. Uh, what do you think? We should promise. Okay. Okay. Dear, but what if it's something insane? Then I'll just be annoyed internally. I knew I could count on you, a true homie. What about you, Frenchman? I can't promise not to get mad. Just tell us already. Nope, I'm not telling you then. What about me? I agreed. Heck no. I know how it is with you two. If I tell you, you'd tell Noelle as soon as I'm gone. Damn, that's true. Adios, amigos. Wait, where are you going? Shrek's swamp. Akarsha left. I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Why does everything have to be some kind of weird mind game with her? It's exhausting. She sounds so weak. She should rest on the bench. Dia sits, then lays Noelle down, so her head is resting on her lap. Nothing we can do now but wait. Do we really have to do this? This is embarrassing. Oh, come on. I've seen you throw up in a trash can at Happy Fish Swim School because you were so bad at swimming that you inhaled half a gallon of water. Compared to that, this is like a three. But this is different. This right now is unnecessary. My thighs are so muscular that I feel like I'm resting my head on a rock. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It wasn't a compliment. How mean. Now we definitely have to do this. Um, what do you think? Uh, feel her forehead. Yeah, feel it. Dia presses her hand on Noelle's forehead. It's hot. Hotter than my own forehead? Studies show that people who try to diagnose fever by touch significantly overestimate the, in the incidence of fever, sometimes by as much as 40%. Oh, never mind then. Talk to her. Um. Um. Ancient. Talk about chi ancient Chinese rock yeah. pillows. Did you know that in ancient China they slept on rock pillows? I saw on Discovery Channel. This isn't making me feel any better. You're going back to your ancient roots. I don't want to go back to my ancient roots. Um. How long until class starts? Yeah. How long do we have until class starts? About two minutes. Maybe you should head to class. You'll be tardy. No, it's fine. I run fast. Um, tell her to get into shape. Get into shape. Even ignoring your gym class grade, the way you're going right now is just bad. You're like that life alert commercial. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I know, I know. 
then why don't you do something? What if there's a zombie apocalypse and I get bitten first? How are you going to survive? I can't help it. I don't have any time to work out. I can barely keep up with my schedule as is. That's just an excuse. She'd be able to figure something out if her heart was in it. If only there was a way to get Noel to enjoy exercising. Um, eat a tiny man. Would you eat a tiny two inch man for $100 million? I bet she's gonna say, of course not, that's illegal. <laughs> of, of, of course not, that, that's homicide, which is illegal. Hmm. What is this, some dumb Akarsha question? <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, Noelle tries to sit up. Her abs are too weak though, and she falls and flops back down. What Jesus. are you doing? I know, dude. This girl needs to go to like a hospital. Yeah. Becoming a fish? I just had a great idea. You know how on Valentine's Day you can pay the school to deliver roses to someone? First of all, I want to say this is Kismet. This is on Valentine's Day, and they're mentioning Valentine's Day. You're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up, okay? Open your eyes. Oh, like in middle school? You could have them secretly sent to your crush, Candy Grahams, for $5. Yes, like that. Except here, we're more mature, so it's flowers. We should send a Karsha one with the message from your secret admirer. Imagine how confused she'll be. And we can tease her relentlessly about it. Should I tell a really embarrassing story regarding yes. Valentine's yes. Day in elementary school? Yes, Ben. All right. Sixth grade, I show up late to class. I sit down. On my desk, there's a handmade bracelet that says, I heart you. And I'm freaking out. I'm on top of the world. I'm like, oh, my God, I have a secret crush. Mm -hmm. Like, it was a really nice little handmade bracelet made out of, like, plastic bag and beads and stuff. I you know, know like, you strung mean. together. It was, it was beautiful, and I was like, oh, my God, somebody has a crush on me. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And at recess, I, like, walked up to my friend, and I was just, like, fucking gloating. And I was just like, oh, check out what I got. And I pulled it out, and he's like, dude, you got there late. Literally everyone had one of those on their desk. <laughs> Cassie made them for everyone. And it was, like, the most heartbreaking, devastating <laughs> moment of my childhood. Oh, man. I love it. Wow. That's the good stuff. It'll, it'll be hilarious. <laughs> Okay, that is pretty funny. <laughs> it's not even that mean because she'll get free flowers out of it. Uh, let me tell you, it's still kind of mean. <laughs> uh, the secret admirer part is the best. She'll drive herself nuts trying to figure out who it is. Yep. Alternatively, we can sign it with really calm initials like KC. She'll look up every guy with those initials at this school. That's good too. I can't decide if it's funny or if we have her conclude it's a random person or for her to be constantly suspicious of everyone. Maybe we can do this every year, like a tradition. Oh my god. You're a genius. The first two years, we don't give her any clues. And then junior year, add the initials and encourage her to jump to the wrong conclusions. That way, we'll get to see both. Noelle is in such a good mood that she lets out a creepy, evil laugh. <laughs> we can also make the message a cipher so she has to solve it. Oh, that's getting a little too far. <laughs> I know. If you put too much math on it, she'll know it's you. Ciphers aren't math. If you have to explain to me what it is, she'll know it's you. <laughs> Fair enough. How much do the roses cost? Probably around $12. It's very specific. What an oddly good... It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $12. That's six per person. Don't really want to spend that much on a joke. I mean, $6 is a lot of money. Especially if it's annual. It'd be $48 in all. Damn, that's some good math. Right I there. know. $48 over four years? I'm not that rich. <laughs> what am I? A tech guy? <laughs> we could split the Who cost between I am? more Steve people. Jobs. So it's more reasonable. <laughs> we don't have any other friends who would appreciate it. Uh, you're right. Never mind. Just forget it then. Noelle looks immensely disappointed. Oh, boy. Uh, someone hacked the fire alarms to play the Super Mario Bros. theme. Almost gave me a heart attack. Uh, 
students come flooding out of the classroom. They all look really glad for an excuse to leave. Everyone is evacuating to the field, like just like we're supposed to. Can you walk? <laughs> Dia catches Noelle as she pitches forward again. Nope. Oh boy. What a good prank. <laughs> Dia gives Noelle a piggyback ride to the field. The entire school is out here now. Sup, homies. You. Yeah. I can't believe you've done this. I feel like uh, do, are they referencing the meme when they do that? You know what I'm talking about? I was I was I was wondering the same they thing. They keep doing it that I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I ought to report you to the authorities. But you won't. What? You think I won't just because we're f f fellow acquaintances? <laughs> fellow acquaintances. She was totally about to say friends. I was not. Admit it. Friends. 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 I hate you more than is physically possible right now. Oh, come on. What did you want me to do? Travel back in time and change Chinese culture to not see academic achievement as a moral virtue? The one who's getting saved doesn't get to complain. You broke the law. How can I not complain? Is anyone on this earth truly innocent? You can't distract me with fake deep statements. You don't appreciate anything I do. Where's my Nobel Peace Prize? Where's my thank you, Akarsha? You're welcome. I'm not thanking you for this illicit help that I never asked for. Were you seriously expecting to be praised? Have I ever been more embarrassed for my fellow man? Never have I ever. I'm a hero. You're not a hero. Honestly, this all could have been solved if you just took a dang sick day. Or got, went to the nurse. Yes, just go to the nurse. The nurse will force you, you to go home. <laughs> you scumbag, disgusting. Fine, be that way. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You don't even look remotely sorry. I can't help if I think you're funny when you're mad. Just don't tell an on me and we'll call it even. Deal? Parsha offers her a handshake. Noel regards it with obvious suspicion. She cautiously releases her grip on Dia's shoulder and reaches out to shake it. Instead of grasping her hand, uh, Akarsha grasps Noelle's wrist. She starts hitting Noelle with her own hand. Why are you hitting yourself? Oh, Why boy. are you hitting yourself? This girl is like charming in the context of this game, but I've met people like this in real life and they are the fucking worst. Yeah. I hate you. You stupid. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Next time I won't let you off so easy. This is your last warning. She said that last time and the time before that. Power of friendship. A stranger brushes past Akarsha in the crowd. Akarsha gawks after her, placing her hand on her heart. What are we? Whoa! Uh, she's so cool now, she's oh so no. cool! Oh my God, I want that jacket too. Wait, that looks like... <gasps> Dia chases after the person. Dia! Where are we going? The person. The person is so short that Dia loses sight of her in the crowd. <laughs> I lost her. Great, I'm so sleep deprived that I'm literally hallucinating. There's no way she no hallucinated way. that sweet jacket. That night, Dia dreams of the past. Oh gosh, flashback again? Whoa, I'm up to bat. Yeah! I get to hit the ball, this is so fun. Hey look, it's a girl batting. <laughs> hey, our team got lucky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shut up you dumb, dumb poopo head. 
Say one more word and I'll kill you. Fuck the shut up. <laughs> what? What is a word? Die! A fight broke out in the stands. Huh? Min is beating the crap out of an old grandpa. You better watch out. I'm a green belt. Green belt. The other adults are rushing to pull her off of him. Min! Min scrambled out, scrambles down the rafters with everyone chasing after her. I'm taking you with me. She grabs Dia's wrists and sprints off with her in tow. Hmm? Wait, stop. What? I was going to play baseball. We got away. <laughs> I kidnapped you. Sure. Now we can do whatever we want. Okay, I want to play baseball, so can we can we go play baseball? Come on, I brought June's bike. Min pulls Jun Seo's bike from the bushes. She mounts the bike and looks at Dia expectantly. You sit on the rear rack. Shouldn't I be the one pedaling? I'm bigger than you. I'm training for when I get taller than you. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. You'll be short forever. How do you know? Just do you watch. <gasps> Are you getting it on or not? Dia tentatively lowers herself onto the bike rack. So, where do you want to go next? Uh, my house, your house, Noelle's house, Home Depot light selection. Or ask me to decide. What do you think? I would say either Noelle's house or the Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot light selection. Section. What's so great about that? There's so many different lamps in one place. The designs are cool and it's really bright. The rest I really do like I that. I know, I agree. Area. Anything that's like, oh, here's like part of a kitchen, like a fake kitchen or something. Like going to <laughs> Ikea is fucking rad. Anyway, the rest of the store is ordinary, but that one aisle feels like a special place in another world. I do remember being a kid and being so jazzed by it. Yeah. I like to pretend I'm furnishing a house and pick my favorites. I just like to flip the switches. I know it sounds bland. You don't have to. No, let's go. It sounds like a place that'd be boring if I went with my parents, but fun if I go with you. I know what you mean. If you're with someone you like, everywhere is interesting. Which way to Home Depot? Not sure. I haven't been there in years. Too bad. Where should we go instead then? Uh, should we do Noelle's house? Yeah, that was your plan B. Noelle's house. We can say hi to Noelle. She hates Noelle. What? Why? Yeah. I miss her. You just saw her yesterday. I miss her. Wow, we're yeah. making her jealous. Oh, come on. oh, come on. You should give her a chance. She's so funny. She looks at every individual grape before she eats it. I know she's kind of aloof, but it'd be so cool if you and her were friends. What's aloof mean? It's like cold. She always tries to hide how much she likes you, like a cat. Once you get used to it, it's sort of cute. At this, Min's expression d dramatically sours. Oh, Ben, we're on the Noel track, I guess. <sighs> if you hate it that much, we can go somewhere else. Uh, let's do, well, her parents hate her, right? So we'd have to go to her house. Um, Yeah, or we can ask her to decide. Let's see what she says. Sound good? Yeah, sure. Okay, Yeah. Min, you decide. Okay. And hold on tight. You're not telling me where we're going? It's a surprise. All right. Yeah, I'm really wondering how many, how much these uh, answers affect our... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Life. After an extreme amount of effort on Min's part, they arrive at a ravine. We, we're here. That wasn't even a coherent sentence. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, what kind of weakling do you think I am? Her legs must feel like jelly right now, but there's no way she'd ever admit it. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Anytime. The place is down this hill and through the tunnel. Should I get off? It's too steep to bike down. Yeah, let's run down. Min enthusiastically leaks off the bike, 
leaps off the bike and sprints down the hill. The bike is just lying there in the grass. Wait, we can't leave this. Dia picks up the bike and runs after her. Min is waiting at the mouth of the tunnel. I want to show you something on the other side. Let's walk through. She peers into the darkness with a hopeful look on her face. What are you looking for? Skeletons. Are you scared? Don't worry, I'll protect you. I'll knife them. <laughs> okay. I'm counting on you then. Yeah. I'll protect you with my life. I mean my knife. <laughs> Min grabs Dia's hand. There's water on the ground. Hold on to me so you don't slip. If I slip like this, you'll just get dragged down with me. No, I won't. Trust me. Um, Look at trees. Enter. I say let's just go in. Let's do it. Yeah, let's brave it. Yeah. It's pitch black inside the tunnel. If it weren't for Min, Dia would actually be a bit scared right now. Don't worry, Dia. I got this. She stomps her foot. Her sketchers light up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's really impressed. I always wanted light up shoes and I never got them, which is yeah, fair. I'm same. sure they were like needlessly expensive, but oh yeah. boy, I and really And we probably them. break in like a week. I know. But seeing kids at school with them was like fucking coolest shit ever. Yeah. Te teach me how to count to 10. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. After a minute, Min has learned the numbers up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, nailed wow, it. Wow, this is really easy. <laughs> I'm probably going to forget it all over again in a few days. Then I'll teach it to you again when it happens. I'll do it over and over forever if you want. I don't mind. Okay, my turn to teach you. I still remember some from last time. Uh huh. One, two, One, two three. three <laughs> yep. Five. 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 Uh. One, two, three, four. I forgot it again. Five. How come you can never remember five? See, I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> it sounds off. Off does not. Does two. It doesn't feel like a five. 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 What do you think it really means? Uh, five? Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe she tricked us again. Hmm? Dogs? It takes a moment for Dia's eyes to adjust to the bright sunlight. Hell yeah! Dogs! Do you like it? Ah, it's a dog park! Can we go in even though we don't have a dog? Yeah. Okay, honestly, no. though, no. If I saw <laughs> no. two fucking unattended kids in a dog park, I would be pissed. I found this place by accident back when I ran away from home. A few weeks ago, Min went, ran away from home because she didn't want to eat a tomato. <laughs> this park is divided in two sides. There's a sign above one of the gates. It reads, small dogs only, under 30 pounds. Oh my god, they have it separated by weight! Under 30 pounds, that's so cute. Which side do you want to see? Uh, big dogs! Yeah, big dogs! <laughs> yeah. Min swings the gate open and gestures for Dia to go ahead. Ladies first. <laughs> there are so many dogs! They're all friends with each other! Dog friends! <laughs> I've died and gone to dog heaven. A husky. All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> yes. A husky trots up to Dia with a frisbee in his mouth. He drops it at Dia's feet and looks up at her expectantly. He wants me to throw it. Dia sets down the bike and hurls the frisbee as hard as she can. The dog gallops after it. He catches it with a running leap, zooms straight back at her, and drops it at Dia's feet again. He's wagging his tail so hard that his butt shakes. <laughs> what a good dog! He's so talented! Dia is almost crying. Are you happy? This is the best day of my life. I'm sorry I suggested we go to Noelle's house. <laughs> Noelle sucks. <laughs> yeah, Noelle sucks. Your 
You're welcome. Do you want to try throwing the frisbee? No, it's fine. I like watching you do it. Okay. Dia throws the frisbee again. The dog tears off after it with such gusto that grass goes flying behind him. Hey, Dia. Hmm? If you want, you can live in my house when we grow up. I'll buy you all the dogs you want. All the dogs? And I'll get to see you every day. I'll drive you around in my Corvette and make everyone jealous. Drive the dogs around too. They can wear goggles to the windows and sing their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever you want. We'll be so far from our parents that we'll never have to see them again. And if we go somewhere with snow, you can throw snowballs towards me and I'll punch them out of the air. <laughs> It'll look pretty cool. Wow. Great plan. Okay, let's do it. Really? Are you sure? Min reaches out and gently cups Dia's face with her palms. <laughs> What's happening? This is great. Wow. Oh, boy. I want to meet the new Min. I hope... I think yeah. we need to wrap it up relatively soon, but hopefully we can meet the new one. And yeah, by new one, I mean the same one, just older. That, that would be a good tease if we. Yes, can totally. To... Uh, Dia hits her alarm and uh, alarms and flops face first into bed. Her morning routine includes lying in bed for ten minutes, thinking about how tired she is. Do it. Do it. I didn't realize it back then, but now that I think about it, that was really. Could it be that I'm a, a, les, lesb, biab, lesbiab, lesbiam, <laughs> girls? <laughs> no, that's impossible. I don't feel that way about other girls at all. Because men looked and acted like that, my heart must have confused her with a guy. Mm. Any girl would have felt something, even if they were straight. And it was just her. Min was special, so she was an exception. Plus, nothing ever, ever came out of it. It's in the past now. Something like that will hap never happen again. Certainly not today. <laughs> nope. So it doesn't count, right? Mm, if Min had moved away, what would have happened? After 10 minutes... She probably would have got her killed. <laughs> yeah, honestly, honestly, you'd both be in prison. <laughs> Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. My classmate Akarsha messaged me. Check my computer. Idea. Hey. Hey. What? What do you call a lesbian with long nails? Single. XD. <laughs> Dia has gone off. <laughs> Heard that one before. Dia goes outside. Hey, Dia. If I were an enzyme. I'd be DNA helica so I could unzip your jeans. Uh. Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Man, you're not even trying. The optimal counter flirt would be then I'll be your topoizomerosis. <laughs> say, to uh -huh. help you relieve your tension. Yep. No one in their right mind would respond with uh, that. Hey, you know I'm just kidding, right? When there's no one around to flirt with, I flirt with you just to practice. It's not funny. In her haste to catch up with Dia, um, Akarsha trips over a crack in the sidewalk. <laughs> Parkour! <laughs> the Prop 8 supporters are back at it again. Oh, d defend... Uh, defend... I, I was trying to figure out. I, oh. Make it sound like. Gay marriage. Yes, I'm happy. Yeah. Can you make it sound like their uh, underwear's up in their butt? You predict the children. Gay sex is a sin. Mm -hmm. The children. <laughs> hey, Dia. Ima imagine biting into the gut. I'm sorry. I read it. I read. I read the line, uh -huh. and I like had a horror moment of like psycho. <laughs> like. Just imagining biting into my oh, own no. hand like it was a gusher, oh, and I like, felt physical pain. <laughs> imagine biting into a gusher the size of your hand. Dia imagines it. 
Um, I kind of go yuck. yuck. That's too much. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. Too big. We're here. Um, locker. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. I want to look at her lunchbox. Okay. Lunchbox. Dia opens the lunchbox and peers inside. There's a bitter melon in Noelle's stir fry today. Ew. I know. Nia, uh, Dia and Noelle both hate bitter melon. Okay. Uh, let's get our books and go to class. All right. I can go to class now. Boop. Go to class. Dia, help Dia, me. Oh, wait. That's not me. me. Sorry. <laughs> Ben, your line? Dear, help me. Bonjour. Noelle smacks um, Ar Akarsha really hard. Oh, how mean. Noelle hands Dia the water bottle as though nothing happened. Open it. Dia twists the plastic sealed cap open and returns the bottle to Noelle. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Are you all right? You seem off. Think about that before you hit me? <laughs> Not everything is about you. I was talking to Dia. Hmm? What? But there's nothing wrong with her. <laughs> Are you blind? She looks like a dog who ate a Christmas ornament. Crap. That obvious? Are you devastated about tiger sharks again? <laughs> what? Dia found a picture of what tiger sharks looked like the other day and was so disappointed she had to go lie down. I don't even know what she was expecting. Okay, I seriously doubt that's the issue right now. Dia, let me rephrase. You are secretly worried about something and you can tell me what it is. Mm, I can't tell her that I'm... Uh... I knew it. She's becoming emo. <laughs> All the warning signs were there. The black hair, the My Chemical Romance posters. <laughs> we all have black hair. Dia, you know you can tell me anything, right? Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's find Min. The flyer says, join the new baseball club. Beginners welcome. New baseball welcome. club. <laughs> oh. It's a baseball club. Baseball club. It'll probably be all guys. <laughs> what? Don't girls play bas baseball too? Basketball? Don't you I play don't basketball? know sports. I, I do not know sports, Jim. <laughs> I love basketball. <laughs> I saw My favorite a player is before. Dirk Jurder. <laughs> Dirk Jurder. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of softball, not baseball. What's the difference? Well, one of the balls is soft. Yeah. Yeah. Softball is like baseball put through Google Translate back. Wow. <laughs> throwing some shade. That's a really, that's a really funny way. To <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everything is off by a few degrees. Dia takes a closer look at the flyer. The first meeting is this Friday. It'll be scary going all by myself, but I made a promise back then. She would have been disappointed if I didn't go. Ooh, yay, good. Let's see her. Are you going to be okay on your own with a bunch of strangers? Mm. I thought so. If you're going, I'm going with you. Huh? I'll be your water boy. <laughs> but don't you hate sports? Of course I won't participate. I'll just utilize the time to do homework. Thanks. Phew, I feel a bit better now. Mark my pun, popular demand, me. Why are you here? I'm bored. There's not enough drama around here for my taste. I'll be the idea man. We don't need an idea man. New baseball rule. Everyone gets a brick. What you do with it, that's up to you. Baseball without limits. Just go home already. There's a stranger over there. Wow, she's taller than me. Dia accidentally makes eye contact with her. Hey. Ah, the stranger starts walking over. 
crap, she's coming this way. She looks intimidating. If I say the wrong thing, she'll think I'm weird. Maybe if I lie motionless on the ground, she'll think I'm asleep or dead. Yeah, good plan. Dia plays dead. No, Tia, don't do this. Hey, you guys are here to join the baseball club, right? <laughs> this is what girls sound like, right? I love sports. Huh. I'm... I'm Krisa. Krisa? Krisa. Krisa? I'm Krisa. Okay. And they call me Uku. Ukub. Okay, I got this. Ukub Shub. <laughs> no, they don't. It's Welsh. <laughs> it's not Welsh. Her name is Akarsha. Akarsha. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's always like this. And this is Dia. Get up! Noelle starts is trying to pull an unresponsive Dia back into upright position. Really? Uh, is she okay? She's fine. She just takes a while to warm up to people. No kidding. She did this to me for the entire month of September. Dia has finally given up on faking her death. Quiet kid, huh? Why does everyone always say that? I'm not that quiet. She's not much of a talker, but she's shredded! Look how ripped her abs are! Akarsha tries to lift up Dia's shirt to expose her stomach. Calmly, Dia catches Akarsha's wrist and twists it behind her back. Ah, okay, mercy! Dia played a lot of bait. Baseball back in elementary school. That's great. What position did she play? Oh man, I really can't do ladies' voices, huh? <laughs> uh, she's the person standing behind the swing place. You mean the batter's box? I'm a catcher. The swinging place? Really, man? Shut up. How was I supposed to know? I love basketball. <laughs> what do you call the bat then? The baseball stick? I said shut up. What about what? What about you, Akasha? I can bench press over six million and ninety-two nanograms. That's barely two pounds. It sounded better the way I said it. Where's Min? Krissa turns to Noelle and points at her. What about... what about you? You haven't introduced yourself yet. Oh, I'm not here to join. We probably won't meet again. That's a shame. I should try to change your mind. I strongly advise against it. Your efforts would be fruitful. If you say so. In any case, we're all... We're glad you all came. We'll be starting. We'll be starting the meeting in a bit. I almost turned Irish. <laughs> in the meantime, you guys can get your paperwork from Liz first. Gotcha. Krissa goes off to greet some other girls who showed up. I guess she isn't too scary after all. She seems like the kind of person who'd walk into a pizza restaurant sh she ate at one time six years ago and yell, "Remember us?" Is Liz gonna be the redhead? Uh oh no. Oh, I bet that was for the baseball club. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Abby, do a voice and I'll copy it. Hello, uh, can I help you? Oh, that's good. Hello, can I help you? You must be Liz. Yup. <laughs> she hands them their forms. I don't need one. I'm not here to join. Ah, uh, are you sure? We'd love to have you. No, you really don't. I'm not the athletic type. Then joining us would do you some good, don't you think? We need all the players we can get, so don't be afraid we'll reject you or anything like that. We'll accept you no matter what, whether you're good, bad, dumb, 
weird, athletic, unathletic. What's with all those insults mixed in? And no, I'm genuinely not interested. I hate sport. I'm just here for Dia. That's so sweet of you. It's, it's not as though it takes a lot of effort to sit here and do nothing. I coincidentally happen to be free today anyway. Ah, you don't have to get all embarrassed about it. I'm not getting embarrassed. Liz smiles at Dia, who shrinks back in fear. I'm so glad you came. Changed your mind about the club, have you? I knew you'd come around. I was at one of your games when you were little. You were so scary. Everyone went back up whenever you oh, came wow. to bat. By the way, is everyone in this club a girl? What? They are? Look, there's four of us. Krissa and some, so some other random girls over there. That's so odd. So this isn't on purpose? Nope. I don't know why those other girls joined. I hate girls on playing baseball. <laughs> what a strange coincidence. Are you sure you guys didn't, like, subconsciously do it? I'm going to say, I really hope, um, for my sake, uh, Dia gets some self-confidence and starts speaking a little more soon. <laughs> I know. Why would, we be why would we subconsciously want a group of girls? Because girls are like commun- Oh, because guys are like communism. They're good in concept, <laughs> but in reality they suck. Ben, do you agree? Uh, ben? Uh, <laughs> when you gather enough guys into a group, they'll suddenly become a bunch of douchebags. Now that's true. That's 100% true. <laughs> it's like magic. Oops. What kind of overgeneralization is that? It's not racist if it's true. Well, do you ever stand in a circle of people talking and not say anything the entire time? Abby! <laughs> There's no reason for me to be here. I wonder how easy, how it's so easy for them to just talk. It's not easy! Dia stares off into space. Eventually, the conversation draws to a close and Liz goes off to attend to the other club members. Finally. Dude, I just can't get over how weird her name is. The heck kind of a name is Liz. <laughs> it's probably short How for something. I have never met anyone named Liz. Like Lizardbeam. Like what? Lizbian? Lesbian? That's not a name. Lizardman? That'd be a thousand times weirder if Liz than Liz in the first place. No, oh, wait. I've got it. Her parents met at a Petco when the lizards went on sale, but there was only one left. So they were like, darn, we gotta get married <laughs> and share it. No one would get married over that. I've heard of people get... Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. Some people are hella desperate. Nobody is that desperate. Hey, yo, it's Valentine's Day. A lot of people are. <laughs> and the lizard man was born. And joined the Soul Calibur team. <laughs> they gave her a kid a name that paid homage to her lizard origins, but in a low key way. Totally plausible. Myth confirmed. Noelle is trying really hard not to smile. Myth not confirmed. Her name could just be Liz by itself. No, nah, that's boring. My beautiful romance is way better. Your beautiful romance was set in Petco. So picky, man. What kind of Frenchman are you? Weird name, no mustache, no romance. Look, how is my name weird? All names have to originate from somewhere. I don't get why you're so fixated on it. Because it's strange? Isn't Noel normally a name you give to kids born in December? My parents are Asian. They don't know that. It's like how a guy, there's a guy in our class named Sky because his parents didn't know it was a girl's name. <laughs> or a kid who goes to a bird school's name. <laughs> there's also a Chinese guy in the grade above us named Stone. 
STONE! I'm pretty sure my parents stole a name from a random girl who lived down the street. They probably didn't know a lot of western names and just thought it sounded good. But still, what kind of Chinese parents would name their kid Noel? It doesn't match up at all. As if I, like, <laughs> like if I had a kid named him Naruto. Noel looks really taken aback. That would be weird. Literally all your ancestors going back for centuries had names like Wang Karai or Mulan or whatever. And then there's you, K -k 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 Combo Breaker. <laughs> also, do you ever think about how crazy it is that we're friends? In any part of history up until now, we never would have met. And even if we did by some miracle, we wouldn't speak the same language. We wouldn't even be able to communicate. Well, you and Akasha would. Nah, we wouldn't. They don't speak Hindi in Tamil Nadu, right, Madrasi? They just threw a lot at me there. <laughs> don't call me that. What's wrong with calling you Madrasi when you're from Madras? What's wrong with calling you an idiot when you are one? Damn. It's sad imagining Noel all by herself in a little island in Taiwan. What do you mean all by herself? It's not like I'd be completely alone without you two. Stop looking skeptical! I would be able to make different friends. Sure. If you say so. You're the worst! I hate you! Krissa brings her fingers to her lips and lets out a sharp whistle to get their attention. Alright guys, meeting started! I'm giving her a new voice! <laughs> Everyone gathers in front of uh, Krissa and Liz. Welcome to the baseball club! As you're probably aware, our school doesn't have an official baseball program anymore, so we made one ourselves. You guys can think of it as a baseball team, light edition. Or a cheap budget edition, since we can't really afford to hire managers and stuff. Light edition sounds less scrappy, like Coke Zero. Anyhow, you can read up on the details in your club membership forms. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is just a recreational club for fun, not an official school sports team, so the paperwork is really simple. There's just a membership fee and a sheet your parents have to sign. Basically, the sheet says if you get hurt or whatever while you're surrounding, oh, and you're all our practice us, schedules <laughs> in there too, though we're still negotiating our game's dates. Oh, she looks cool. A girl standing in front of Dia raises her hand. Game dates? Who are we playing against? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whatever we can get. Most teams from other schools. But don't worry. It'll be pretty casual. Hopefully, we'll have enough members to at least fill the roster by then. Any other questions? If every oh, person boy. on Earth aimed a laser pointer at the moon at the same time, would it visibly change color? Any... Relevant questions? Silence. Then let's all introduce ourselves with a cheesy icebreaker activity. Say your name, grade, and one fun fact about yourself. Dia immediately wants to go home. No, I hate these. I can never think of any fun facts. I'm boring. I'll start. I'm Krissa and I'm a senior. Fun fact, uh... I have one. She reads cryptid articles at night and scares herself, and then is afraid to get up and use the bathroom. If you're going to choose a fact for me, at least choose a flattering one. My turn now. I'm Liz and I'm a senior too. Her fun fact is she can literally lick her elbow. I don't know why I saw the word literally there. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be impossible. I kind of can't too. Do it. Liz does it. What the... What is she, a clown? Dia has gone I back to being afraid of Liz again. <laughs> uh, Liz gestures to add another girl to go next. Watashi. Oh, God. <laughs> Watashi wa Sakura desu. Do you, feel, do you feel good with the anime girl? I, I feel hella kawaii. <laughs> and I'm Yuki. There's no way those are your real names. <coughs> Oh, oh god, I'm 
dying. Hold on. Okay. Okay. We'll only do a couple more and then we'll wrap it up anyway. Hey, it doesn't hurt to humor them. Support their interests. Watashiwa, I am the 10th grade. Watashiwa, I'm the 10th grade too. What does Watashiwa mean, Ben? Uh, it means, hello, good morning. Would you like some natto? Oh, okay. Stop talking like that. Oh, God. I found my people. The next girl up looks more normal. I'm Esther. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? I tried to recruit you before. You said you weren't interested in baseball. I'll give it a chance. All right, which anime has baseball in it? Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? I never said I was here because of... Which anime has baseball in it? It's Ufuri. Don't tell me that's why Sakura and Yaki are here. Yuki are here too? Heck no. I'm here because of Diano Ace. That's the one I said. Oh boy. Uh, uh, what? Is it a crime to like anime? Yes, and you're all under arrest. <laughs> oh no! Yes. Okay, let's move on. Dia watches the icebreakers progress with mounting terror. Her palms have grown clammy like when she's getting ready to say here during roll call. Crap, it's almost my turn and I can't think of any cool facts. I like crunching on ice cubes. When I go to people's houses, I'm too scared to ask where the cups are, so the, I go to the bathroom and drink ah. in the faucet instead. Whenever an assembly is over and we're supposed to help carry folding chairs back, I secretly hope that people notice how many I'm holding. These are all so bad. What the? By now, other people have gone. It's a cautious turn. What up, ding dongs? I'm a freshman. Ding dongs. My name is Rikishi. Fun fact, I once found two mutant tater tots that were fused together and sold them on eBay for $40. Selling things sounds stressful. I would have just eaten them. Noelle is the next one over, so everyone looks at her expectantly. Skip me. I'm not here to join. All right, Let's here we go. Daya, shall we? All eyes are on Dia now. Okay, calm down, me. All I have to do is say I'm Dia. But wait, did she did she just say my name? Does it seem redundant if I repeat it? No, I'm overthinking this. I should just say it like everyone else. I'm Dia. Yeah, so far so good. What else was I supposed to say? Mm. Panic is rising in Dia's chest. I've already messed this up. I'm embarrassing myself in front of everyone. This is the worst. Even worse than reading a passage out loud in class. I shouldn't have come here. Dia bolts from the meeting. Distantly, she can hear Noelle calling out after her. Dia, where? I can't go back now. Well, on that cliffhanger, what do you say we call yeah. it? Yeah, let's let's stop for now. Oh, I really want to see what happens in this game, though. I do, too, but... We gotta go. For now, you know, for now we're done. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's Valentine's Day, and sometimes yeah. love is private. Love isn't meant to be That's shared right. with the world. In this series, we, we've learned a lot of things. Love can be, you know, helping out somebody who is overestimating who they are as a person mm -hmm. and really needs some support. Mm -hmm. It can be a weird pigeon who's obsessed with pudding. Uh huh. Hell yeah. It can be a lot. Of, Love can be confusing, as this game has shown, you know? Yes. There, there is no such thing as, as true love. It, it's complicated and it comes in many forms. And... Yes. But I'm glad that we found it multiple times in every video we did. Um, yes. And I'm we glad banged to out have... five times with yes. five different really cool, yes. uh, weird creatures and, and the like. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad to have shared it with you, Ben. Yeah. Uh, have a wonderful Valentine's Day, everyone. If you're watching this after the fact, hope you did it. Yeah. And you know what? If you didn't, that's okay, too. Like, don't yeah, let society's it, rules about, like, what is a good life and, like, needing to be in a relationship or a two-person relationship or whatever it is make you feel bad about yourself. Because you know what? You're great. Yeah. You're great. And you know what? Don't let Valentine's Day be, like, the only nice thing you do if you are in a two-person yeah. relationship. Go out to dinner this weekend. Have a really nice thing there, too. Celebrate the people you love, okay? Goodbye! Yes. Bye!